right, I'm back. It's 6.46, 15 minutes behind schedule. Another live Facebook broadcast from Dean Jacobs from my office live here in Fremont, in Fremont, Nebraska. I made a promise to myself that I would do um, 30 days of live Facebook broadcast. So here I am. I'm keeping my promise. And um, it's Monday. I, which marked this day... I don't know about y'all, but I'm losing track of my days a little bit. But it is Monday. It is Monday. At least it's Monday currently in Fremont, Nebraska. So I don't know. This people could tune into this from all over the world, and you may be watching it later. So whatever day it is, I hope it's a good day for you. And on that note, if there's somebody who could benefit from watching this with you, um, or you know someone who might benefit from seeing this, please share it with them. Hey, Renee. Hey, uh, Joni. How are you guys? So. I made a promise to myself here uh, 10 days ago that I would do a live broadcast every day. So I'm keeping my promise to all of you who heard that promise. And I'm also keeping my promise to myself. All right. Hey, Jenny. Uh, <laughs> stay safe, you too. We're not only are we going to stay safe, we're going to get through this together. We're going to learn how to take care of each other in the process. And we're going to find a better version of ourselves as we move through this together, don't you think? Thumbs up to that idea because it's not an accident that we're here. And it's our job to do our part to make the world better. And as a do, and part of making the world better is watching out for each other. So remember, on the other side of that wall of fear, there's a whole world waiting to be explored. If I let that wall of fear stop me, it traps me into a small box, which lets me feel like I have limited options and a limited perspective. And when we get pretty tunnel vision that way, then we feel like uh, we feel hopeless and we feel frustrated. And that's not a very empowering way to actually go through this dynamic, is it? Because we want to remind yourself that we will get through this. I believe we will. And I believe that we will experience an inc um, the goodness, the kindness, and generosity of uh, our fellow neighbors and, and of humanity. And that will be by choice, not by just randomly showing up that way. That will be a, uh, an intention that we all have to bring to this dynamic, right? So on the other side of that wall of fear, this world will be explored. The well, whole world waiting to be explored. If we let that world stop us, we get trapped in here. And we are too... We're, we got too much to contribute to get trapped into that perspective. And the way that we constantly stretch in that perspective and move it out is by dreaming big, by living tall, so we can do our part to make the world better. To do our part to make the world better. And one of the ways to do that, one of the ways to stretch this, constantly stretching this perspective is to make sure that we're asking ourselves good questions. Empowering questions. I'm so happy my friend Jeff Cockrell taught me how to, here we go, and I'm still learning how to do it. But he taught me how to <laughs> make it so we could actually read it. Turn the whole book to touch the right buttons. So, see, I learned something, something new. This part of the whole, this all, this opportunity to do this has taught me how to do something. Like putting uh, the thing in the right way. Julia Cook, my favorite children's author, is in the house. Hey, Allison. Hey, Devin. Good day, hey, Tiffany. Great to have you guys along for this adventure of empowering questions. Now, I'll go back to that metaphor that I always like to share uh, with you guys. Oh, by the way, before I go on, Julia Cook's reading stories. So, Julia, make sure you put it in the comments when you are reading stories to kids. You don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So, those of you out there who are looking for ways to fill the time with something that's good and empowering, engaging. Julia Cook, who's an incredible author, is reading to people, reading to students. So make sure that you uh, 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 tap into that. Ola, me, my love, Christina Serrano. Edgar, <laughs> Edgar <laughs> the, my bus driving friend from Argentina. We got people coming in from all over the world. But anyway, Julia, make sure you drop in a comment where people can um, tap into uh, your precious gift of reading. Abigail, uh, Annie, oh man, cool, all these beautiful people showing up, love this. Thanks for joining me on the, doing live Facebook feed. So now I go back to the metaphor, and Paulina, mi amiga down in Austin, best friend of Christina Saranoa. <laughs> Boy, my Spanish. I, that would be, this is definitely one of my goals and my objectives uh, in the next uh, 30 days or so is to work on my Spanish, okay? Thumbs up to learning in more than one language, you lucky people who more, speak more than one. Okay, and Shelly, hello Shelly. 
little shout to all of you. Uh, I see you. I champion you all, you guys. Thanks for ta- uh, taking a uh, uh, um, uh, little time with me to uh, to talk about empowering questions. So I remember the great little metaphor that I uh, uh, yeah, me conductor. Gracias, Edgar. <laughs> um, the young Native American boy goes to his grandfather one day and says, Grandfather, I always feel like I have two wolves fighting on the inside, Grandfather. Please tell me which wolf wins the fight. And the grandfather turns to his grandson and he says, My son, the wolf that wins is the one that you feed. The one that you feed. So we want to make sure that we're feeding the good wolf on the inside. The wolf that stands for our dreams. The wolf that you know is a part of our dreams. The wolf that is a champion for living tall, such as kindness and dignity and respect and generosity and, and all those beautiful qualities. And the wolf that can help us continue to move forward to do our part to make the world better. That's how we live a life of wonder, right? Diane Harpster, not hamster, but Diane Harpster is back in the house. Christopher Rhodes, anyway, good to see all these beautiful faces and names popping up. Laura Rodenberry, thank you. Kevin, hey, good to see you back and part of this conversation. I see familiar names, people that have been on with me before, coming back for more. Uh, I love that that we're sharing a little bit of life for just a moment. Because I was thinking about this the other day. You know, we're supposed to keep physical distance. I don't like that social uh, distancing because if we are um, if we're if we are doing social d- distancing uh, we're really we're missing an opportunity all right and we need to be aware of that. So I'm going to change that for me I'm going to change that terminology to physical distancing all right so we need to take if we right now is a good idea to keep our physical distance apart but there are other ways to stay connected, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. As a matter of fact, mentally, physically, emotionally, to stay connected with one another. This is what I'm doing with you all, is taking a few minutes to share my heart and my thoughts and my opinions about something to stay connected with you, all of you. From my heart and from the wisdom that life and God has given me along the way. And, uh, and spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Uh, and, you know, from a bigger picture, all right? Does that make sense? This is why I'm doing this, to honor my commitment to stay connected with you guys. As a matter of fact, since we can't be always physically connected all the time, we actually need to do more of the mental and emotional and spiritual connecting. We need to up our game in those areas since we can't. Right now, we're limited in how we can physically connect with one another. Does that make sense? So this is part of why I'm doing the live Facebook um, uh the live Facebook feeds for you guys is is a way to up my game to stay emotionally, spiritually, and mentally connected with all of you, right? To stay connected with it all of you, and then that that way we know that we are all in this together. We need oh Australia, <laughs> Australia's in the house. I love this. We got South America in the house. Oh, we got Santee, Nebraska in the house. We got Fremont, Nebraska. We got um. Ecuador in the house. We got Texas in the house. All, all connected. This is what it means to be mentally connected. We're all part of this little conversation for just a moment in time to remind and celebrate each other that we will find our way through this. And one of the ways to find our way through this is through good questions like empowering, empowering questions. That's right. Uh, this could be uh, a long haul. This is why we we need to connect worldwide. Absolutely, Diane. Absolutely. Shutting down in Dallas. Yep. I think in the not so distant future, we're going to be shutting down in lots of places. We'll do what we have to do in order to get to the other side of all this. So if that means to shut things down so we can flatten that curve a little bit, we're still going to be in for a bumpy ride. But, you know, all right, we're going to do what we have to do to make sure that we take care of each other and adapt. But adapting doesn't mean uh, shutting down. It means finding other ways to stay connected. It means finding other ways to support each other. Make sense? All right. Empowering question. Empowering question for today is, I love that I actually get to turn this the right way and you can read it. All right. What larger, what larger entity am I a part of? What larger, what larger entity am I a part of? What a great question. 
especially for right now. What larger am I? What larger entity am I a part of? Because you know I'm part of the entity of humanity, which means you know we're all in this together. I personally believe I'm part of a a a, 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 a of the gift of life. I'm part of an entity of divineness, of love, of um, sacredness. Um, Aachen. Oh, we got Germany house too. Oh man. Uh, wie geht's, Vanessa? Oh, I'm picking up my few words of German. Um, hello to my friends in Germany. Guten Tag and Prost and we will get through this together. I look forward to the day we actually sit down and uh, we look back at this and we think about what we learned about how we became better as a result of it. To all, I, I love that we got people from all over the world uh, posting in on this. So what larger what larger entity am I a part of? I'm a part of the entity of humanity. I'm a part of the, of the divineness of life that God made here. That's what I feel like I'm a part of. And it's my job to acknowledge that, celebrate that, uplift that, um, uh, empower that. Uh, that means empowering all of you guys. You know, I believe that I really believe in your capacity to figure things out, and I know that we will come up with creative ways and solutions to stay connected. So even if we can't be physically connected, we can be connected emotionally, mentally, and spiritually through technology and things like that. The sacredness of life is not confined just to physical situ uh, into the physical world. If you all know what I mean, the sacredness of life can transcend all those things, and it's up for us to acknowledge those things celebrate those things and in, the, in the, our own unique way and then lift them up empower them um, give them more voice at this point in time because uh, we all need to be reminded including me of those um, of those important facts uh, or uh, those uh, that important information make sense so that way we know we're all in this together so I'm a part of the entity of humanity and as a part of a brother uh, or a, in this dynamic of humanity i'm going to continue to send you all as much love and light and good thoughts and prayers and everything possible that i can think of uh, to take sacred moments of meditation um, quiet moments to send out good thoughts to check on my neighbors and friends and family to make sure people are doing okay okay so what what entity are you all a part of all right what entity and part of it, at the moment, we're all part of the entity of, um, of my Facebook live feed. So thanks for joining me on this live Facebook page or broadcast. Celebrate that for a moment, right? And we're, we're part of a lot of, a lot of different entities. And it's, our, it's wise and it's important, especially times like this, to acknowledge those things, to celebrate them, and to remind us that it's a beautiful gift called life. And what we do with that gift of life is always going to be our choice. And it's always going to be... Um, uh, an opportunity for us to shine brighter so we can use that to stretch and blow the box up no matter what the circumstances are going around us. Make sense? So I send you blessings and light and love wherever this may find you in Australia and Germany and Ecuador and Argentina and Texas and um, in Fremont, Nebraska and South Dakota and everywhere. That, oh, in Minnesota, because I saw my friend Jenica here. Wherever this all finds you, may you find a little bit of peace in your heart. This is what I used to say. Hmm, it's funny how all these things, all this traveling around the world over the last 20 years, 58 countries, um, has served me uh, in a special way. And as I used to leave every room, because I stayed in hostels or I would stay in people's uh, guests in people's houses and, and things like that, I would always leave the space with a prayer, and I forgot about that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna leave you with that prayer tonight, and it's really, it's a blessing more than a prayer. And the blessing is this: May you find peace in your heart and joy in your journey. All right, be good, be the good, my friends, and we'll see you tomorrow night as I do another live broadcast of empowering questions. All right, have a good night. Bye bye.